So I have just returned from Roxham Road. It's an illegal border crossing between Southern Quebec and upstate New York. I sat in my car and just watched as thousands of migrants, illegals, crossed illegally into Canada, into our federal agent's arms. So you can imagine my shock when I returned home to learn that our self-styled feminist prime minister, Justin Trudeau, is yet again on vacation. So I'm here and I'm thinking to myself, like any migrant crisis, it's all about the numbers. Why isn't Justin Trudeau here to deal with the numbers? And then it dawned on me, the guy's just not very good at math. The, the commitment needs to be uh, a commitment to grow the economy and the budget will balance itself. Well, while Trudeau is waiting for the budget to balance itself, I thought we could play a little game of refugees by the numbers. Just lay things out real clear and simple to make it super easy for the PM to see exactly what's going on. Shall we? All right, so while the Rebel Dot Media was down at this one illegal port of entry, of course, we know that there are several, we've been to many of them, we saw on average 15 refugees per hour. There are, of course, 24 hours in a day, which means that we are averaging 300 and 60 fake refugees per day. Now, let's say hypothetically, we were to use these numbers and build a bit of a trajectory of where we're headed over the course of a year, which is of course to ignore all of the trends that we've witnessed to date, namely that of which uh, there have been more refugees coming as time goes on. But let's just use these numbers for now. So 360 per day times the number of days in a year, which is of course 365, what we're looking at is 131,400 refugees per year. But I can hear you, you're saying rebel.media, slow down. Y'all are a little bit hyperbolic. The numbers aren't actually that big. Ignoring, of course, um, the reports that as many as 501 day had walked through and a more recent report of as many as 900 being backed up at the, at the border right now. But hey, you don't wanna believe our numbers, go for it. Let's just forget what we wrote here. Let's use the official numbers from the authorities in Quebec. They say that roughly 200 refugees are coming in per day. We times that by the number of days in a year, and all of a sudden you get 73,000 fake refugees from all over the third world coming into our country from one illegal border crossing alone. Now some more numbers just to think about as we sit here laying out all the numbers as we are. 300,000, that's the number of legal immigrants that we bring in every year into this country. Then a little bit over 40,000. That's the number of Syrians that we've brought in through our proper refugee program. Now, when you add up our legals, plus our Syrians, plus again, just the refugees from the one area, what you get is 413,000 extra people in Canada, which is sort of significant when you consider our total population is 35 million. Look at these numbers and it becomes very clear why Canada is out ahead. It's actually the number one country, more so than Sweden, Germany, or even the United States when it comes to its rate of ethnic and demographic change. But of course, who cares? We're Canadians. We don't care about things like ethnic change whatsoever. What we care about is the space. Where are we gonna put all these people? And, and how quickly do we have to do it? What we care about is space and time. But again, these are two concepts that the Prime Minister has a lot of difficulty grasping. You have to realize that the way of thinking that got us to this place no longer holds. We have to rethink elements as basic as space and time to go all science fiction-y on you in this sense. Well, while JT is busy rethinking space and time, let me tell you how little space we have left and how quickly we're being forced to deal with things. Yeah, our original approach of putting all of these folks into our sanctuary city of Montreal's taxpayer-funded Olympic Stadium, guess what? They're running out of room. They're not gonna have any more space basically by the end of this week. So what are we doing? Well, we're creating more space. We're building new refugee asylum seeker camps in our schools. 
And we've even deployed the military. No, not to guard our border. Remember, Justin Trudeau doesn't believe in our border. He's erasing it without a mandate. No, our men and women in uniform who ought to defend our border, no, they're busy building shelters for these people who illegally violate it. But again, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Faith, those are only temporary solutions. These people, they're gonna get jobs. They're, they're gonna make money. They're gonna move out of those places. Yeah, but here we go again, jobs in the economy. That's yet another area of severe difficulty for our prime minister. We're proposing a strong and real plan, one that invests in the middle class so that we can grow the economy, not from the top down the way Mr. Harper wants to, uh, but from the heart outwards. That's what can Canada has always done well with. Yeah, JT, while you might have made your refugee policies from the heart outwards. Newsflash, yeah, the economy doesn't work that way. So let me break down something for you, just nice and simple. These 300,000 legal immigrants, we actually recruit them based on a point system. We look at things like what their jobs are, how, how educated they are, can they speak either one of our languages, our official languages here? Are they likely to contribute to our economy? Now, I could make an entire different piece about what this does to our middle class, but regardless, suffice it to say, these people show a lot of promise when it comes to actually immersing themselves into the Canadian job market. As for these folks, and more specifically, these folks right here are illegals. Yeah, we didn't pick them. We have absolutely no qualifications asked when they just decided to break our laws and walk into our country. And, and, and here for a second, I wanna draw your attention to our Syrians, some of which have been here for about a year. Yeah, according to recent reports, only 5% of them have been able to find jobs, either part-time or full-time. So I'm just wondering, number one, are we gonna see a similar rate of, of assimilation in the job market with these guys over here? And if so, considering Justin Trudeau is putting our country on the path towards a $1.5 trillion deficit, how in the hell are we supposed to pay for all this? For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm Faith Goldie. YouTube is trying to censor videos just like this one. If you want to help us build an app and get away from our YouTube overlords, visit they can't stop us.com.